everybody, it's James from Lingero back online again for a, another video. Now, uh, a question I get asked quite a lot uh, by people who contact me through my site uh, or, or through social media is, have you got any tips to improve my aviation English? Now, of course, that's a very broad kind of question and certainly not one that I can answer in a five minute video. But there are certain tips that I can give and certain techniques which should help you to make your learning more effective. Now, one thing I have noticed in France in particular is that there's a particular attachment to learning lists of vocabulary, mainly because in the French school system, English has traditionally been taught in a very kind of literary way. So it was all about learning lists of vocabulary, learning grammar tables, etc., etc. But in reality, what counts in an aviation context is your ability to communicate. So one of the tips that I wanted to show you uh, was one that I call the rule of two. Now, what is the rule of two? The rule of two is that when you learn a particular phrase or term, you should always try to learn a the verb which uh, describes a particular thing that is happening and also the noun that describes the event for the same thing. So let's give uh, a couple of examples of this. So let's use as an example a very uh, simple exercise that is present in a lot of uh, aviation exams, uh, a photo description. So here we have a photo of an Airbus A320 which seems to be landing in windy conditions. So to describe what the aircraft is doing, I could either say the aircraft is banking sharply to the right, or I could say the aircraft has a very sharp or steep bank angle. Now, why is it interesting for me to be able to see it to say both of those uh, terms? Well, the reason is that by knowing both ways of expressing this particular event, um, I broaden the amount of things that I can say in other contexts. So let's say, for example, you're going to an airline interview and uh, somebody in the interview asks you a technical question uh, about uh, aerodynamics. So by knowing that, uh, by knowing how to say a steep bank angle, you would then be able to say, for example, the steeper the bank angle, the higher the stall speed. So once you've learned one particular way of expressing things, you can then apply it to a number of different contexts. So there we have an example of the rule of two, which is one of the many tips I give my uh, students when I'm trying to help them uh, broaden their aviation English vocabulary and make them more comfortable using English in whatever kind of flying they do. In any case, I hope you found this video useful. It's always a pleasure to come on and talk to everybody. Uh, please do feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. Uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, all the classic uh, uh, social media platforms, and I will uh, do my very best to respond to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon.